touch these belts because these drivers are going to be liable. If they, you take the belts off to her, she has a slam on brake, you come forward and hit this, mm -hmm. she's going to be liable yeah, for that. You don't be liable because I got hurt already man, and you didn't pay for man, it. I you don't tell I, me about I the liability. Said. But you didn't pay. You didn't pay for my injuries. I, 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 I didn't that pay, has, no. That has no Tonight has nothing to do. Okay, if we're if we're just talking about tonight, then let's take this at hand. Let me let me first tell you what happened. She did not strap me in. I even told her, don't touch anything, because when you come on, I wanted you to see. She didn't tighten this up. She didn't even lock this on there. So now she want to talk about strapping me in. She didn't strap me in properly in the first place. Okay. So, so the so the the point is what I'm trying to say is don't get technical when the police gets here all of a sudden when you've been treating me a certain way and driving a certain way and only sometimes locking me with one lock okay. and allowing me to take it off without acting a fool and having the police come out and stopping in the middle of the freeway. The issue I have with tonight has nothing to do with whether I unlocked, flipped back and forth, whatever I would have did. You don't stop in the middle of the freeway of Independence in Charlotte, North Carolina where people drive the worst drive in the south you pull to the side then you do whatever you're going to do but you don't risk my life and stop in the middle of the road with those big trucks and all that crap they have in those vehicles to run in the back of us and for me to go ahead and fly through that window that's the problem i have tonight there's not too much you can tell me about her slapping me and strapping me in and policy because she didn't do that okay. she felt that from the get-go i heard you now you listen to me okay if you felt like the strap wasn't on proper mm -hmm. you shouldn't have let the bus move when you got oh on. i've been there i've been there but with why you why didn't say anything i've me. been saying oh, look at all my complaints that's why i said that don't do that tonight do not use what you just told me tonight, ma'am. You said she didn't put. You switch. guys have been doing this, and that's why I said that man. I am. But you, you, you're lying and you're fabricating something. I'm you guys have been doing this, and I've been complaining to you. So don't act like this is a new complaint. We just had one Saturday, and the hey, police had to come out. We dealing with tonight, not Saturday. Okay, well then let's look, let's just I'm, take I'm just this. Going on what you just said, look at man. this for a minute. We are in the middle of the freeway. She's, we said, are. she's got her lights on. So Okay, doing but man, man, look please. at that. Look at that truck that just passed. Okay. There's nothing to talk okay, about with getting me off this bus to man. my stop and to safety. I don't think you guys are getting that part. We this is we, this we is we not safe. That and he started yelling at her again. Because I told him to drive. Don't tell me, oh, don't talk. She didn't want me to talk. Please, please, please. I want you guys to understand this is understand, unsafe. I understand totally what you're saying. You were yelling at her. We just I know. I was yelling at her because she was saying I took the strap off. And I was saying that strap she, had she nothing to do. She was getting ready to start driving that, and you started yelling at her. No, That's I told her that know. strap because the words that came out of her mouth was that I had taken the strap off. And what I yelled at her for her to understand is, and what I want you guys to understand.